What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at lead code problem number 178, ranked scores marked as medium. Let's get into it. Our task is to write a SQL query to rank scores. If there's a tie between two scores, both should have the same ranking. Note that after a tie, the next ranking number should be the next consecutive integer value. In other words, there should be no holes between ranks or no gaps. As an example, we have an input table named scores has an ID and a score. We also have an example output of scores and their rank without gaps. So the ranking would be 1, 1, 2 instead of 1, 1, 3 because we don't have a gap if we use something twice. All right, I'm going to go over two approaches to solve this problem, one using window functions and then another smart approach, but we're going to start out using window functions. So window functions allow you to apply certain aggregate functions on a window you can create using partitions and an ordering. That's what we're going to do right here. I can't do an entire explanation tutorial on window functions here, but if you don't know about window functions, you should probably read up on that first. So we're going to start out by selecting our score. And another column that should be called rank. We need to escape that here in MySQL because otherwise we're referencing the function rank from our table scores. And that rank should be our window function. So as a template, I always use something like that. Aggregate for our aggregate function over our window that is partitioned by one field and then ordered by another field ascendingly or descendingly. In this case, we're going to order by score. The higher the score, the better the rank. So we're going to order descendingly, high score on top. And we don't need to partition on anything here. Partitioning can be thought of as something like grouping by for window functions. And we don't need that here because we're not looking at separate groups. And as our aggregate functions, there could be rank or dense rank. In this case, we need to use dense rank because we don't want to allow for gaps. That, by definition, doesn't create these gaps, so it's going to keep on counting from the next number even if we have a tie. So in the example output, we have 1, 1, 2. Dense rank produces that. Rank would just produce 1, 1, 3 because we already had 1 twice, and that's why we would have a gap in there rank. We don't have that for dense rank, so we're going to use that from score. And if we run that query, we already have the accepted output. If I, if I hit submit, that will be accepted and we can move on to the next solution. So there's also another clever way of solving this, which is maybe not the easiest to get to and understand. It does make sense. I would prefer window functions, but we're going to go through that one as well in case you have the task to not use window functions to solve such a problem. So we're going to start out by selecting our score. From our default table scores. And then, of course, we also need to be able to calculate that rank. Okay, the way this smart approach works is that we're looking at the current score we have. Let's take 3.8.5 in the output table as an example. And we want to calculate that rank by looking at how many scores are above our current scores. And then we also want to think about how to avoid having gaps and putting that in our e equation, so to say. So for 3.8.5, we're going to look at how many distinct scores are higher or equal to our current score. So in this case, we have 4.0. We have 3.8.5, which is ourselves. And that means we have two scores, 3.8.5 and 4.0, that are higher or equal than our score. 4.0 appears twice, but that doesn't matter because it's not a distinct or unique score. So it doesn't matter if it appears twice. We have that many different scores that are higher or equal to ours. And that brings us to two. That also works for 3.6.5. We have 
3.6.5 itself, 3.8.5, and 4.0 that are higher than that rank. So we create 3 as a rank. That also works for the other score of 3.6.5, creating the same result, and so on. So that's what we're going to code up here. We're going to do that by counting, as I just said, the distinct scores that are higher than our score or is equal to our current score. going to give our first table the name as 1. Also going to order by score descendingly. Call that one rank. If we run that query, we get the same output. It doesn't read as well if you ask me. I think people are going to be more impressed if you're using window functions. But if we submit that query, we also get the accepted output. And that's going to be it for this video. I think you should really give window functions a try if you haven't yet. We even had a session for all data scientists in one of my previous companies that taught us Windows fun window functions because they really thought of it as something very important that not everyone knows of, but probably should. And it's going to help you solve many problems like getting the fifth highest salary from somewhere or just looking at rankings. It's going to help you solve these problems very easily and I can really recommend you guys to check them out. I can also really recommend you guys to check out the other videos on my channel, so make sure you subscribe and take a look at the other problems to study along with me. And I'll see you all in the next one, hopefully. Bye.